didn't pick the Mr. Potato Head one, guess which one you're going to hear? <laughs> no, one about IHOP. Uh, and then Mr. Potato. Or unless you want to, you know what, since you said it, that's awesome. Interactive. I'm getting it. Awesome. Okay. I don't know how they do it in New York, but this is how I do it. So welcome into this stuff and things. Okay. So if you made, since we're doing this interactive thing, if you made God, what would he look like? Anything, or anybody, when you picture God, or you make him, or what, what does he look like? Okay, well, can I tell you what mine would look like? If I made God, he'd look like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> no, 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 follow me. Parts sprawled out on a counter, made of clouds that looked like cotton candy, because of that. That'd be sweet. It's a joke. Sweet <laughs> cotton candy, okay. He know where everything goes before putting his eyes in, but would make the common mistake of putting his ear in his mouth because sometimes, sometimes we forget to listen before we speak. Or his ear in his eye, because we forget to see for ourselves sometimes, or his eye in his side to give him a whole new perspective on life. Okay, last one was a bit of a stretch. Admittedly, but my God would be whatever I need him to be. He'd have a mustache for the days I need a heavy hand, and a necklace for the days I forget who I am. I need to be held tight, told Stephen. We all have too many faces to be held accountable for each and every little last thing. And I can change you, and you can change me to whatever you need, and whatever you need, pull parts out of my back, build yourself a savior. Today, I can tell you need me. I don't know him anymore, and that's okay. Help me understand. Here are my parts. Pick the ones that fit. Leave the rest for later. I too could use a day in someone else's shoes, and I got six billion plus pairs. Your guys are so unfair sometimes. I get enough of that shit. I get enough of it from life. So please excuse me if I'm tired, and my God seems a little bit childish, but in the days I need him most, it all seems to fit. I don't need someone mad at me when I'm already mad at myself. So I reach into his back and I pull out a smile for help. And sometimes I pick his eyes out, because not everything I do makes him proud, <laughs> admittedly. But I do. I make him proud. Make him whatever I need him to be, whatever we're not, whatever I'm missing, whatever happened to being childish and whole. Being able to play around with the parts of God, but not letting go of the things we don't know, but not taking ourselves so goddamn seriously. My God, he loves me. Like, like old church hymns on Sunday morning masses, I still had time to get up early and put on a Sunday suit. Your God was a shitty routine I wasn't ready for. He wasn't a religion made for all ages, the kinds you can get lost in and you don't have to learn how to smile or why or what's right or safe because what's the worst that could happen? We could make God look like a mistake, look like an imperfection, look like us. Mr. Potato Head looks like us. He has empty spots where the fun fits, where change is okay. Where emptiness looks like opportunity, or sometimes it looks like just plain emptiness, but most of the time it still looks fun. Easy with the best intentions, best to the worst of men, because sometimes we need them, and sometimes, sometimes we're scared. Because your gods, they look so mean up there <laughs> in the sky with thunderbolts ready to disperse in each hand, making my Mr. Potato Head into French fries. It's okay. It's nice to know my God's little like me. Just a small fry at the top of a bucket can relate to me more than your heavy hands that reach down to eat my dreams and my friends. So I get scared. And I'm gonna get swallowed by something bigger someday. You know what? Until then, I'm going to play around with the little plastic parts, 
read minimal instructions with full imagination, put every single part in with the best intentions, knowing it's not going to stop me from redoing it over again and again and again and again and again. And yes, I will get frustrated, and yes, I will get frantic, and you know what? I'm going to get angry, and I'm going to throw plastic, and then I'm going to try to convince the world that I'm ready for a bigger toy, a better toy, a more complex contraption whose, whose blueprints look like Bibles written in foreign languages that no one understands. Mr. Potato Head understands me. He can make, be made into a complex metaphor if you try hard enough and can be boiled down to french fries. He can be whatever I need him to be. Have a mustache for the days I need a heavy hand and a necklace for the days. I forget who I am and need to be held tight to Stephen. Come on. We all have too many faces to be held accountable for each and every little last thing. And I can change you. And you can change me to whatever you need. I am whatever you need. Pull parts out of my back. Build yourself a savior today. I can tell you need.